Hi, my name is Nick Romano. I'm a global ambassador at the Marriott School, and today we'll be talking about Africa, specifically the country of Libya. Now to give you a background, some background information about Libya, Libya is the fourth largest country in Africa. It's located just west of Egypt, so it's in the northernmost part of Africa. It actually has the fourth highest gross domestic product in Africa of all the countries in Africa and it has the 10th largest oil reserves in the world. It also has the 17th highest petroleum production in the world. So oil production is a really important part of living and working in Libya. So what's making the news in Libya today? Today we found out that Muammar al-Gaddafi was killed by rebel forces. Now who is al-Gaddafi? He was an autocratic leader from the 1960s that, through a civil war, gained military control over Libya. Just recently, he was overthrown by more civil uh, unrest, civil soldiers who were looking to overtake uh, his control. So there have been many failed attempts to remove him from his position of power. However, after many years, El Gaddafi has finally fallen to rebel forces. So to give a little bit of background about this individual, some of the things that he's most notorious for is his cruel and unusual treatment of his own citizens. Unfortunately, his he reigned, his particular administration reigned with terror and tried to control the people through fear. He was usually the means of a lot of conflict in many different parts of the world and, and he could be linked to several terrorist attacks including one of the most notorious which is uh, the Pan Am jet which was bombed in, in the 80s and 270 people were killed. So President Obama issued, a, Obama issued a statement that says, we can definitely say that the Gaddafi regime has come to an end. The dark shadow of tyranny has been lifted, and with this enormous promise, the Libyan people now have a great responsibility to build an in inclusive and tolerant and democratic Libya that stands as the ultimate rebuke to Gaddafi's dictatorship. So what is the outlook for Libya? Now, there is the Transitional National Council, which is a governing body. They are anti-Gaddafi uh, forces that have issued just recently a constitution that they want to promote democracy in Libya and the United States is behind this and actually recognizes the Transitional National Council as the official governing body as well as almost a almost hundred different countries. So the question is, now this, this death marks the dawn of a new era for Libya and this, this is a time of great opportunity and rebuilding and restructuring so with the challenges that Libya will be facing, we have to ask ourselves many questions and this is one of the questions that I have for you that you can comment on is what is our responsibility or the U.S.'s responsibility in, in helping Libya become a developed country now that the new government will have the opportunity to develop their council and establish a constitution should the U.S. be helping out? I'd like to get your opinions. Please comment. And thank you.